when you came to show this God? Were you pleased while you were coming? Uh, I was just so. Were you pleased or you're not pleased? No, I was not. When you wrote this statement, were you pleased or you're not pleased? I was not pleased, apart from the statement from the assistant chief. Yes. Yes. What role was the assistant chief doing in terms of the was he an investigator? No, he was he was not an investigator. And you have come here with public resources to give a story. No, I did not come here yes, to waste yes time. No, I didn't. I don't. So you're not taking this matter seriously. Yes. I am taking it. That's yes. why all along you are just smiling to us and not taking this matter seriously. It's my yes. nature to smile. Please. Yes. You know that the conclusion of your story, if it convinces the court, will end up having the two persons convicted? Because of my story. You know or you don't know? I don't know. You consider this a public barraza? It's not a public barraza, it is a hearing. Yes? It is a hearing. Are you taking it? The seriousness of the Yes, and that's why I'm here. I've been here since last year. We confirm that you are giving us a story, yes? I'm not giving you a story. It's stated in my statement. Do you stand for your statement? <coughs> yes, as I wrote it and signed. Did you see? And whom are you to testify against here? Only one Kuria Kariko. Kuria I, Kariko. I only know him. Get hold of the charge sheet. Yes. What? Get hold of the charge sheet. I don't have the charge sheet. Hansi, click in the page where the accused persons are listed. And so you are only producing the file for her, for him, sorry. You open in that page. <coughs> you, can you see this page? Yes, I can see it. Yes? I am seeing it. What are you, what are, are you seeing that those are the names of the accused persons? I have seen a lot. <coughs> So many here. I'm asking you, and you answer my questions as put, not as you want them to be. Have you seen that that's a list of the accused persons, Chief? Yeah, a list. Yeah, it is a list. Yes? yes. Can you see the second column? The first and the second column? The first column. Bears the first name, the second column bears the surname or the father's name. Yes? Yes, yes. Identify yes. for us is a Kuria Kareko. With the, with the accused, tell us is accused number what? Mr. Kuria Kareko. Kareko, Kareko, Kareko. Number I'm four. asking about Mr. Kuria Kareko. Is that not what you're testifying against? Yeah, uh, it is. Please identify for us. Kuria Kareko. <coughs> yes, in the church. Not there. <coughs> in the church. Judge sheet is. Uh... Is he there or is not there, Mr. Chief? I'm asking a simple question now. You can stop looking at it and answer no, the question. He's not here. He's not here. Yes. So the story you have come here to testify <coughs> is about people who are not even before this court, yes? Excuse me, Chief, you can keep it off now oh, okay. and hold your statement. You have come here to give us a story of a person who is not even before this court, yes? No, as per my statement. I'm not asking about your statement. I'm asking about the church which has commenced this trial. Okay, I was not conversant. You are specifying against a person who is not even before this. No, yes? excuse me. Please, excuse you should also like listen to me. Your Honor, I need your protection. Your Honor, the Advocate should uh, allow to so, answer questions. I will do that. You are here to testify against a 
person who is not before this court? Yes or no? I am. Uh, he is here. Look at the charge that I made for that person again. Okay. I am telling you, he is he is here. Look at it. Do you know how, how a criminal case is commenced? Yes. Do you know how a criminal case is commenced? Uh, no. I put it to you, or rather, I educate you that the document called a charge sheet is the one that commences a criminal trial. You agree with me? Yes, I agree. And that the charge sheet bears all the details <laughs> and the names and the particulars of the accused person. Yes? Yes. And that you are therefore here to testify against one Kuria Kareko. Yes? Yes. And that he is not indicated in that particular charge sheet. Yes? You yes. don't find his name in it. Yes? There is only one name, Kariko. Answer me. You do not find his name in that particular church. It is there. And which one is it? Kariko. There is Kariko. Where is Kariko? Read all the, read all the names of those of these persons. I'll give you that latitude. Uh, from the top? Yes. Okay, I have Maina Jenga. That's the first accused person. Yeah, yes. Maina Jenga Kamunya. Yes. The second accused person. Mwangi Shege. Yes. Then uh, Mugwen Joroge. Yes. Simon uh, Muigai Mathu. Yes. Then Kuria Kariku. Kuria? Kariku. Kariku. Yes. That's Kuria Kariku is the Kuri. same as person as Kuria Kariku. Kuria Kariku from Kehingo. I'm not asking where he's from. The question of where he's from is not in part of this proceeding. Okay, it is. I'm asking about the identification as it appears in his ID. Is that the person you're testifying against? Kuria Kariku? No, he's Kuria Kariku. I'm asking you, you're testifying against Kuria Kariku or Kuria Kariko? Kuria Kariko. Okay. Chief, when I tell you that you're not taking this matter seriously, and that you think you're in a public barrage here. Do you therefore agree with me? No, I don't. Chief, who was the first person to declare the emergence of Mongeti in this country? I don't know. Are you aware that one Mr. Rigati Kashagwa did declare the emergency of Mongeti? I'm not aware. You will not object my question. You don't know the relevance. Raise the substantive objection. I respond on that particular issue. Cancel. <coughs> yes, sir. Do you know that Mr. Rigadi Gashagwa was the first person who declared the emergence of Mongiti? I don't know. You do not know? Yes. Do you work in the administrative organ of government? Yes. As a chief, correct? Correct. And you're not aware that Mr. Rigadi Gashagwa declared the emergence of Mongiti? I'm not. Let me ask you, Chief. Do you know how many witnesses have testified before you? No, I don't. I put it to you that you are the ninth witness lined up by the state to testify against this case. Yes? I'm are you aware that there is no civilian who has taken that stand to testify against the accused persons? I'm not aware. Are you? Are you now aware? I've now made you aware. Okay. That's only the police officers, Mumbakumi, and chiefs like you would come to testify against the accused persons. Do you find anything unique about that? No. You don't find anything unique about that? No. So there is no civilian in the Republic of Kenya, 50 million of us can come and testify against these individuals. It's only the provincial administration and the police. Yes? I'm aware now. You're aware. Anything unique? That I know civilian is coming to say I'm a member of Mongeti. I can't say there's something unique because circumstances differ. Circumstances differ. Yes. It's only the provincial administration and the police who knows the emergency of Mongeti? Those are the circumstances, or which circumstances are you addressing in this case? Because which circumstances are you addressing? Just address me on the question of the circumstances that make this case unique. Because 
I am from Joro. Which circumstances are you addressing? And it is I, the one that I I'm telling you. Where you come from. And that's why I'm starting my statement. Yes. I am from Joro, for the sub county, from another, other, other areas. So, what is the unique circumstance that makes it only fit for the police and the provincial administration to testify against their police? That is the circumstance I want to address. Because me, I'm from Joro. Not I, don't, I'm not I, I, I don't know the rest where they come from. Yes. yes. I've told you that anybody testifying in this case is either a police officer or a chief. And I said I don't know the others. And I am now telling you. And you have to judge the chief. See, I'm answering chief. the question the way you ask. Chief, answer my question. And I am answering. And you reduce the talking and listen to the question carefully. And you also listen unto me. Yes, sir. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Your Honor. Chief. Uh, apologies. My apologies. My apologies. My apologies. Chief, I want you to address the, circum the unique circumstances that makes it convenient for the provincial administration and the police to be the only witness to now so far behind that. What is provincial administration? I'm not understanding that name, that name. Provincial administration. Who are those? If which organ of state you work? National government administration officers, not provincial administration. If what is unique? In this case, between the office that you work for, that it's only they are the only lined up witnesses and the police. I don't know. You don't know the mix of Yes. I put it to you that the reason why it's only the provincial administrations and the police that have been lined up to testify in this case is because you are perpetuating the concussion and the concluded lies by one Mr. Gadi Gashagwa that there is an emergence of Mongiki and therefore you have to come and support your police. Yes? That's not. Yes? No. It's not true. I therefore put it to you that if that is not the case, you are then acquitted by personal vendetta, malice, and ill ill, will ill for the accused persons. Yes? Accused persons or accused person? Excuse me. Don't ask me questions. Answer questions. Then come again. I put it to you that all what has acquitted you it is not in defense of one Mr. Gadi Gashagwa and the support of the concocted theory of the emergence of Mongiki, you are doing it because of the ill will, malice, and ill feeling for the accused persons. I even, know, I even don't know the accused person, so that is incorrect. Are you aware that last year there is one chief from the sub location from? Um, from sub-location of Gedeo to testify before this case, before this court? I am aware. aware. I am aware he was here. you know his name? No. you know he testified? I know he's testified, but I don't know As before? Yes. As PW4. What is that? Do you know that he testified and said that the only thing that he knows about Mongiki is that they circumcise women? Maybe that is according to his statement. You know that, that? I don't know. I have not put it to you. Is that your position now? I don't know. Is that your position? That no. No. Yes? No. How do you describe Mungiki generally? I said I don't know Mungiki. You don't know Mungiki? Yes. Is there Mungiki in your location? No. So when the prosecutor says and brings and say that they were Panafanarians that were used by Mongiki. Therefore, not speaking the truth, correct? Yes, I'm again. When Mongiki, when the prosecutor comes, you don't have the item. When he comes to those items, can you see those items? Yeah, I can see them on my left. Unfortunately, you are not able to see your honor what we are because the, the eye was not awake. Yes.
So you cannot associate those items with a group called Mongeko. I cannot. Neither can you say that Mr. Karioki Kireko, whom you are testing against, is a Mongeko member because he uses um, a walking stick. Ah, uh, no, I cannot say he's a Mongeko. Neither can you ever say that you ever saw him practicing any element of being a Mongeko member. I have never seen him. And therefore, there is no emergence of Mongeki as a lady, yes? To my understanding, I don't know that. <laughs> what do you mean to your understanding? There is emergence or there is no emergence? To me, there is no emergence. Thank you. No further questions. The honor that will be there. Oh. That will be. I'm sorry. I only have two questions for you. Do you have any. No, I don't have. I don't have. Yeah, I will recommend. I will recommend him. Yes. Yes. How many times did the assistant? No, it's not the assistant chief who told me to write the statement. According to my recorded and signed statement, he is the one who told me we were required to write a statement. How many times? Just once. And uh, also, you mentioned that Just he told he called me once. Got they came for our recording stream in my office, in my assistant chief's office. Obviously, you were No, what is hesitant? You are not ready. Why didn't you go the first time? I was not called. The statement states, be prepared to record a statement. Mr. Chief, if I tell you that you are hesitant to write the statement, Yes, very much. We are cheating the courts. Mr. Chief. Yes. You told the court that Mr. Korea is a tenant. Do you know all the tenants in your family? No, I don't know them. So what is your take? Because the names, the, the home which he stays mm -hmm. is just a one family home. No other tenants. Mr. Chief, procedurally, when a person are arrested and brought to your car, what do you do? You challenge them directly to court? No, I'm not a, an arresting officer. My work is not to arrest people. That's prerogative of the police. In the event people are brought to the park, what happened? That is a police matter, not a chief's matter. matter. Not Where a chief. was the statement recorded? Where did you record your statement? In my assistant chief's office. Is that a police officer or a station? It's not a police station. So, and the court be right in expanding a statement? Expanding how? Yes, I am good. I am understood. I think that marks the end of the defense cross examination. You were asked uh, about the residence of the Yes, I can confirm. Where is that? 
I started by saying it is Roria Village Subuku sub location in Kihingo location. He's, it's not his. Tenancy. He told me he has received a call that me and him we are required to record a statement. In regard to one Kuria Kariko. Are you one of the investigators in this case? No. Do you, in, in your job, draft such? No. Do you know who drafted the such? I don't know. Are you, is, is it also in the part of your job to select the witnesses? Select the witnesses that are Come again, I'm not Do you know the witnesses that are lined up to come and testify? No, I don't know them. When those officers came to record your statements, do you have any doubt as to whether or their identity or their identity? I didn't doubt because they came uh, with a government vehicle. They came with a government vehicle. Yes. Would you be here? Yes, come again. I wouldn't. Yes. And are you here to testify because you have received from any of your bosses or anyone for that matter? Must come and testify against this person? It's only a bond that I received from the courts. Only a bond that I Yes. There are two questions. Uh, council. The council takes persons. Yes. Okay. I'll take what I have. Okay. Uh, Council for the accused persons uh, put it to you that uh, Kuria Kariuku is not in court today. What do you what do you have to tell the court regarding that? To see in court? Yes, he's in court. You can see him? I can see him. Please identify. Uh, the, fo the fourth person from my right. No. So you confirm that he's present? Yeah, he's okay. present. And that is the person you wrote your statement about? Yes, he's the one. Uh, Council also put it to you that uh, you are not willing or are ready to record your statement. What do you have to tell the court regarding that uh, assertion? That I was not ready. Yes, counsel said you are not ready to record. I, if I was not ready, then I would, I would not. You, you are hesitant. Were you hesitant to record your statement? Yes, I was very much hesitant. Why were you hesitant? Because I had not prior information as to why I was to record the statement. And when you receive the information as to why you are supposed to record your, assess your statement, did you now that the uh, hesitation go away? Yeah, it went away because I was recording in regard to one person I know. That is very
Yes, I am. Donna? Yes, I am. Thank you. You don't know we go to uh, next witness, speed up your mind.